All right, guys. So today's trick, um, you guys can thank Thomas Williams for this one. He actually emailed me um, a video of him presenting the trick, asking me to help him out with the ending a little bit. Uh, so this is something that we kind of worked on together. Um, it's heavily based off of the Jack's card trick in which they rob a bank. Uh, for most of you guys who will know that, will recognize that in this trick. But anyways, um, the deck I'm using is the Mint deck. I know a lot of you guys in the comments would have probably asked me the deck I'm using. So this is what it is. Um, and anyways, guys, this is what the trick looks like. So uh, to start off, let's say we take the Ten of Spades, the Jack of Spades, the Queen, the King, and then the Ace. And now what I want to do here is take one of each of those cards. So in this case, let's say we take the King, the Queen, the Jack, and then the 10, and they all go somewhere in the middle of the deck, somewhere where I can't necessarily reach them. I have no breaks, I'm gonna square them up. And as you can see, they're now somewhere in the middle of the deck. Now all I have to do here is let's say I take your ace in one swift motion. I flip the cards around, as you can see, with the 10, jack, queen, king, and the ace, and they all come back to the top. So uh, this is a trick, guys. I hope you guys like it, and if you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so the uh, the explanation shouldn't actually take too long. The trick is only based off of um, a few different techniques. So basically, to start off, make sure you get out the royal flush, in this case, the ace, queen, or ace, king, queen, jack, and ten, and you want to put them in this order so you have the ten on top and then the ace of spades on the bottom. So you take this five card packet and then what you want to do is take four cards off the top and what I did, I just caught a break right below the four cards here. These are random cards, it doesn't matter what they are and you leave those on top, catch your break and then you take the five cards here in this order and you place them all on top of the deck. So however you want to do, you can take the five cards off, uh, you can show them to the spectator and then get a pinky count. Um, any way you want to do is fine, just make sure you have the four cards here, the five cards on top, and you have a break above everything. So, um, in doing this, what you're going to do is pick this packet up into middle grip, leaving your thumb at the bottom, and then your uh, middle and ring contacting the top of the deck. And all I did was I displayed the cards, and I'm holding them kind of tightly, so I'm just fanning off the ten of spades, the jack of spades, the queen of spades and then when you get to the ace of spades you peel off the king and you immediately set the ace onto the deck because you have a, uh, a five card packet here so you want to make sure that's really quick as soon as you set down that king you're following it with the ace just like that because you do have that thick packet now from here what you do uh, is you take and you tell spectators okay so I'm gonna take these cards and put them somewhere in the middle um, and tell them that you're going to leave the ace on top so these are random cards, so you're not showing these to the spectator, you're just kind of saying, okay, look, so I'll put the king here, and you're not showing the faces of the cards to the spectator. And you just take these random cards, and make sure you take only four of them, and you're placing them somewhere in the middle. And what I did in the performance was I spread out the deck like this, showing them I have no breaks, squared it up, put everything together, and then this gives you um, a little bit of an excuse to spread open the deck. So you say, look, your cards are somewhere in the middle. And you're just kind of casually spreading over uh, four cards. Okay, so you're leaving four cards below the ace of spades. And that is going to get allow you to get a break right underneath that ten of spades. So you say, look, uh, your card is somewhere, somewhere in the middle here. And you're just counting off four cards, catching that break. And now what I did in the performance was a, sh uh, a shapeshifter. So now you have your break with the five cards, and all you have to do, and I'll leave a link on the screen, you say like, I'll take your ace, and you're showing them, and you're kind of making it look like it's only one card. You're taking the ace, you do your shapeshifter, you flip around the five card packet, you deal it out like this, and then you can flip over the last card. So, uh, this is a trick, guys. I hope you guys like it, and as always, thanks for watching.